What's up, MetaHumans? I'm Lawyer Winton. That's Peter Speroni. Together, we make up the Web3 Attorneys. Today, we're going to talk about Universal Group and how they're going to be revealing some NFTs on LimeWire's Algorand-based marketplace. The fact that I am hearing LimeWire back in <laughs> the ether is making me so excited. Peter, please explain what is what is going on with this well first off you're 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 exactly right because we're sort of smirking with limewire because we all know <laughs> what it was back in the day and they took some heat around the napster days um uh, i'm not gonna uh, appear yeah i'm not gonna admit, admit to doing any Ill illegal activities but i used to frequent limewire uh, a lot yeah um it's funny because it's an interesting web local we'll call them web two company you know the mm -hmm. a lot of people say web three represents the blockchain but web three can represent you know a metaverse can be non-blockchain whatever but it's interesting to choose limewire because everybody and I, I post about this stuff on my linkedin all the time and yeah the the feedback that i get is that's the first thing they say they're like limewire yes. weren't they yes. the ones ripping off all those people's stuff so in the in the uh, blockchain web three space nft space there are frauds and scams happening left and right and there's ip la uh, ip theft happening left and right so it's a, it's an interesting why pick them when they already have this sort of reputation of being like sort of sketchy so but whatever hopefully they can pull it off and obviously they sort of revamped so they're calling it the web3 version of limewire and then you have algorand which i i like algorand be, uh about a year ago i i had posted about this i read their white paper on ways that they were going to uh revolutionize copyright royalty tracking and payouts and ownership and i i remember reading it and going and that was one of the first times that i was like wow nft crypto blockchain can really change the game when it comes to copyrights from reading their paper they had a lot of really cool ideas on how to change it so i love the fact that they're with algorand uh for this because handling the overhaul of the um record uh, industry's largest label universal mm -hmm. you know if you that's so many that's so many copyrights to handle with care. That's so yes. much uh, distribution, sales, et cetera. So I like that they have partnered with, I mean, at least one of the companies that I've read about their white papers on their copyright strategies. But um, they're, you know, Universal's got what? The Weeknd, Taylor Swift, Elton John. I mean, just powerhouse artists. Some massive names, yeah. Now, as far as we know now, there's no obligation, or I don't know if there's an obligation, but there's there's not a definite that ta you know Taylor Swift will be re releasing NFTs. But I think that the infrastructure is in place for any universal artist that chooses to, or their contract allows for it. Uh, remember, though, you know, in the blockchain world, intellect it's high, it's unregulated, so um, you know intellectual property we can only go off of what we know about it so far and you know the general rule is if you're commercially exploiting somebody else's protected work then you got to get a license for it you got to get permissions in place you got to assign uh certain types of copyright assignments to third parties and those assignments must be in writing to be valid so please uh make them in writing if you're assigning a portion of your copyright out i like this partnership i hear you i'm not all i'm not fully in with limewire just because it's an interesting pick very this interesting. industry is wrought with fraud right now and here you have it's like oh we partnered with napster you know like yeah like it but limewire i feel like even got it worse like napster was just in the game early and they're like well we didn't know we were doing anything wrong and maybe i don't know maybe they didn't um but limewire was like they knew yeah. that people were like ripping stuff and i don't know i i found that so fascinating i heard limewire i was like what where have I heard the holy shit? Limewire. When you when you said it to me, I was I was ecstatic. I was like, this is this is awesome. First, I love the fact that like what we do now versus what we were doing with LimeWire. Like what we do now is like protecting people and your work. This is what our passion is. Yeah. Versus what I was doing in high school. 
yeah. on, on LimeWire. Yeah, but I mean, nobody knew what it was. Like, and, right, and the, the, right. the lawsuits that came, they were very, I remember reading about those um, lawsuits in law school, just they're very nuanced and it really looks to how the technology works. And there's sort of two kinds of analysis, one under the hood, they call it, and one mm -hmm. over the hood, meaning are you looking at the fact over the hood being like, you played it, you should pay for it. And yeah. then under the hood would be, how does the algorithm, how does it function? And does that function of that particular software constitute a public display right. of the, the protected work? And so a lot of under the hood companies have benefited from arguing that their software doesn't violate the law. Um, but yeah, we'll see where this goes. I. I'm excited though that you know we've seen Sony with a about a year ago with a 55 million dollar uh, <clears throat> investment round, right. a Series A investment round into uh, the NFT crypto space. So mm -hmm. there's going to be the adoption of this, and I, I I said it before. I think all the regular systems will be remain in place. That NFT services will just be an added on uh, sort of feature to an already established artist career or a non-established artist, yeah, whatever. It's Just something, another way to make money. It's inevitable. Yeah. But you guys let us know, hit the comment section. Let us know what you think about the resurgence of LimeWire. Did you do any sketchy things on LimeWire? <laughs> uh, let us know in the comments if you're feeling brave. Uh, for now, I'm Lawyer Winton. That's Peter Speroni. Together we make up the Web3 Attorneys and we'll see you guys next time.